Good morning and welcome back to Tao Holistic Wellness. Today we will be continuing with the Five Elements series, going into the element of fire. We will be talking about the first pair of fire's officials, the heart and the small intestine, as we did with wood and the liver and gallbladder. So fire is following in the cycle of elements after wood. When wood reaches its full height, it is in the fire. It is at its prime, its peak. Fire is that highest potentiality that's always evasive and eluding us, but we can always continue to aspire towards it. The yin element, or the yin organ of the fire element, is the heart, also known as Sheen. And this is the commander and emperor of all the officials. In Chinese medicine, the officials are the organs of the system. But they're not only anatomical structures. It's also the processes and animating forces that give rise to the organ. And at the same time, it's all of the mental, emotional, and spiritual factors that orient themselves around these officials and these animating processes. The heart is also connected to the blood vessels. Its job is to transport the pure yang, that is fire, throughout the body. When all the blood vessels are unblocked, then the fire, the yang, effortlessly reaches and circulates through the entire body. And this gives us vigor, it gives us equanimity, power, determination. All functions work better when the sheen is able to pump the yang through the blood everywhere, energizing the whole body. Blood is easily obstructed. Emotions and Different things taken in from the environment, different habits, all have a manner of directing the blood. And if you're flexible, this is okay. But the problem is when the blood stagnates in a certain pattern of flow, it becomes very used to it and harder to change. For example, with smoking, your blood will regularly be sending a signal to your brain that is saying it's deprived of nicotine and if you continue to follow the blood as it has been going as long as you've been smoking you'll continue to reinforce the habit now the yang energy that the heart moves is the spirit and in order for that spirit or shen to be in the sheen, the heart, it has to be empty. And that's what meditation is good for. It's to clear away the sheen so that the yang shen, which is empty and also full, takes home in its nest and conducts the working of Tao. The yang organ of the fire element is the small intestine. The yin organs, just a quick review, are what hold a certain vital fluid that we need to have at all times to stay alive. For fire, that's specifically body heat and energy because when you die, all the body heat is gone. Body heat is a direct sign of being alive. Whereas the yang organs are hollow, they 
hold things temporarily as they're transformed and absorbed or excreted out of the body. So the small intestine is very central in the body. It's the longest organ we have anatomically, besides the skin, if you're going to count that. The small intestine receives nutrients and takes it apart based on the content of the ingested food. Food is chewed up in the mouth, swallowed into the stomach, churned around with digestive juices that prepare it, and then in the small intestine, the specific nutrients are picked apart and absorbed and distributed where they need to go. For sugars, there may also be activation of the pancreas to regulate insulin and glucagon. For acids and fats, the gallbladder can be activated to rebalance pH. Proteins in the small intestine signal enzymes which cleave apart the amino acids and those can then be used for cell repair, DNA and RNA transcription, pretty much everything related to growth at a cellular level. So it's really that empty space that's everywhere that is the yang, which is also existing inside the yang organs of the body, which is able to measure a relative balance of these chemicals everywhere at once and send signals for what is needed more of. This is different from cravings in the mind that are more about the taste of something, the appeal of something to the senses. This is more of a nutritional craving where your body is actually signaling a lack of something necessary. The small intestine also plays a very important role in the mind and mental emotional health. The idea is the small intestine is always working to be empty. It's the highest, it's the yang of the yang elements. It is the most empty and most fiery. It is constantly trying to become absolutely clear. And this also works in the mind in separating away the impurities of the mind from the pure mind. It's what keeps the clear light shining through and able to discern what needs to go and what we need to keep, just as it does with the nutrient balance of the body. So the small intestine is very important to keep healthy. And the best way to do that is eating things that occur in nature. Proteins, carbs, fats, micronutrients. Anything synthetic or that's an additive is really not what we're evolved to eat. So it's just going to become excess waste in the body somewhere. So together, the heart and the small intestine are in charge of cle keeping clear the emperor's vision and enabling him to rule the kingdom by allowing that yang chi to be distributed to all the yin form and perpetuate its motion through life. Now, fire also has two other organs, which we will cover next time. For now, we're going to stop with the heart and small intestine. I hope that this information is valuable to you and connects your spirit and helps you on your way. Thank you and have a great day. Get outside and enjoy.